Bro, the pollen count this year has to be at an all-time high. I gotta sneeze. It's not giving. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Y'all, look at our fans. Well, this was a complete bust. Why I broke my camera? Just because you finna go work out and get stank don't mean you gotta go in there stank. If that makes sense, let it marinate. If it don't apply, let it fly. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shanice Alicia and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Saturday. I know this is not typically how I like to start my videos. This lighting is trash. I'm in a parking deck right now, but I wanted to pop things off before I just be showing y'all what I'm doing and y'all got a lot of questions as to where I'm at, who I'm with. What's it doing little guac? I'm down for some guac. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So, your girl was up early this morning. I had a dentist appointment. I went to go get my six month cleaning, and I also stopped by Starbeezy's. I got me some breakfast, and then I got a coffee. We are about to run into Home Goods, and then I'm gonna hit Ulta. Since I'm on this side of town, I figured it would be good to stop by, see what they had. Y'all know I'm still decorating and revamping some areas around the house. Right now, as we speak, our fence is being installed. Sim and Deuce, of course, are at the house. I called to check in after my appointment just to see what the progress was. They started at 10 and they are just now finishing up the posts so they're about to go in and start I guess building the remainder of the fence girl I don't know what the hell I did not tell Sim to film it sidebar I'm filming on my phone because yeah I forgot my camera at the house this morning and it was literally like do or die get out the house 50 meter dash because I had like 22 minutes of a commute and I was leaving the house within 10 minutes of my appointment. So yeah, there's that. I said though, we ain't making no excuses. Y'all finna get this good iPhone quality. Okay, it do the same thing. If not a little bit less than the camera will, but hey, we move. So I am going to check in to see how they're doing by the time I get out of home goods. I think Sim got it covered. <laughs> I don't know why I be trying to be in the church and the chapel at the same time, but if you know, you know. So yeah, outside of that, not really anything crazy. I need to update you guys on this parking lot is kind of flooded right now. I wonder what it looked like on the inside, but y'all know the old folks be out at this time getting their little shopping done. So yeah, we're about to go in. Just wanted to start you guys off for the day and i'll meet you guys on the inside sidebar you guys please disregard the fact that i don't have in nobody earrings not a chain on like girl i'm out here in these streets looking like a little boy if you needed any indication that i was rushing earlier that's one but i did request an x-ray while i was at the dentist because listen at my big grown age i ain't got but one wisdom tooth that has completely grown in the other three i'm not really sure i'm not really sure so i wanted to ask her like girl can you see what's going on do i have them because one time in high school the dentist told me that i only had three wisdom teeth like the other one just didn't show up in an x-ray and i felt that to be very funny he was wrong one was already down anyway anyway outside of that i got me a little check today from my last cleaning back in august i had some money left over once the insurance paid out that was on my account she was like you don't need any fillings you don't need nothing else so i'm just gonna write you a check so you can have your money back because the insurance company i think i don't know i don't know girl i don't know but yeah, let me get the hell out of this car while I'm in here telling y'all all this stuff that y'all probably don't care about. TED Talk over. Let me go. I know y'all probably caught that in the background, but girl, remember the color party I told y'all I missed? Honey, there go my basket with all my stuff in it. Why I picked up that pink sauce? I just, when I say play too much, look, 
look, look, look, look, look. I need to go to Walmart. That needs to be on my to-do list today. To return this stuff, sitting up here in the sun, raggedy. So I'm changing the half bathroom downstairs around and I think God put this here for me. My only opposition is having to take stuff off of it and dust it because it's going to be exposed. But that is so clean compared to what I was thinking about for this one since it's still covered and it has like a drawer. And these down here are shelves. I don't know. Okay, let me explain my cart because I got up on the phone with my mama. And when I say, oh, y'all... I done wild out a little bit. Okay, y'all know the vibes. Jimbe, right? Bet. Got a new bowl for Deuce. I hope this is taller. And then it also matches the kitchen, dining room area vibe. I got him some sweet potato chews. Those look pretty interesting. And don't mind the color of this vase right here. It's getting spray painted. Down there are some kitchen utensils, a new shower curtain for the guest bathroom we'll talk about it later i got some curtains for my office and i'm replacing the curtains in the living room with something more sheer and lightweight so that the light can really come in because it's towards the back of the house and yeah the light don't be doing what it needs to do some days with the curtains that we have i got some new panties that i'm gonna try out those are the dance skin line and y'all listen at me when I say I done picked up this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, girl, I think that's like $50 here. And y'all know in real life, that's probably like 80 to 100. So yeah, that's definitely a steal. But um, <clears throat> I'm about to go to the register. I might be doing process of elimination in a second. We'll see. Y'all, these are so cute. Like if you needed additional shelving in your house, hmm. Girl. I am going to hell home because I don't know who the hell I thought I was today. That serum that I picked up, that's going to have to suffice for the skincare I was going to go grab from Ulta. I do need some spray paint, but <clears throat> I might just have to order and let that get delivered because, baby, gel. I need to go home and film this home decor video. I need to film all this stuff that I just got, how I'm setting this stuff up. I need to go home and do it because ain't no reason I'm just out here living like I'm living. That was kind of wild just then. <clears throat> I'll see y'all at the crib. I'll see y'all at the crib because see, every time I want to start vlogging, I get a little happy. <clears throat> that was uncalled for. So I made it home, you guys. Want to show y'all Deuce's reaction. So that bowl is a little bit taller than what he has now. Great swap out. It's not that big of a difference, but it is taller. Oh my God, this is huge. Look. Damn. Slice me too, really. I'm telling you. Set up for the vlog. Hey, chill. What's that? Okay. Sit. Y'all, Deuce does this super cute thing. Let me bring this down. See? <laughs> Boy. I taught him Paul. Here, do you want it? Bye. All right. Let's see what he comes back with. I need to go put something on, like some earrings, a necklace, something. But um, Sim said he likes that little situation. And let me just show y'all, because I'm tired of the secrets. Shit, that's why y'all ain't getting no home content last year because I'm somewhere busy trying to hold things back. Okay, come look. Definitely like the black one. Yeah. I feel like this maximizes on the space instead of having something that's too small. It's perfect and then it's in the corner. Like it's shaped to fit in the corner. You get black containers? But like little... Mm -hmm. for like q-tips and mm -hmm. dental floss all of that so we're also changing out this we're doing something with the walls we're switching out the mirror so yeah light fixture as well up there 
Yeah, we about to transform because it's just too basic to be down here where everybody comes. Okay, now the lighting be sketch, you guys, but let me show y'all where I'm going. If y'all can see, okay, this is a lot better. So the new curtains that I got compared to the old ones, I never showed y'all these, but y'all see how this print has like a little bit of the beige-ish type of color with the silver, which looks good during the day, but I've noticed at night that it's not my favorite as time has gone on. So to one, lighten up the place and give it more of a cleaner, more airy feeling. I grabbed these, they're more sheer, and they kind of just have like that light cream beige color, which will assimilate really well with like the accent chairs, the pillows that we have on the couch, and then the vases that we have up there. So we don't get too much light back here compared to the front of the house. So that's why I said I want something that's um, more sheer and can go back here, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. Hi, Stinky. Did you enjoy it? Look it. We are fenced in. They still working though. But it looks great. I feel rich. That fence make you feel rich. This one. Okay. Once we get it painted, definitely for sure, for sure. Okay, you guys, so go with me. I'm trying to visualize this so I know whether or not it's going back. But just to have extra tissue in here, somewhere to place like our paper towel roll and the hand soap and whatnot. And then also we're going to do some other little containers. I'm not sure if I should move the tissue down a row and put the containers more so at the top. And they'll have stuff that was in this little guy here like um dental picks flushable wipes q-tips um tampons panty liners pads and stuff in small little cute canisters that can sit on this that way it's convenient to be in the half bathroom and have everything that you would need in a whole bathroom because we don't have any cabinets under here and of course, I'm going to move this little situation here too, because we won't need that much damn tissue in here. But yeah. And I really want to change it around for the flow so that it just assimilates well when you walk from the kitchen and this little dining area into the half bathroom that's down here. You get the same vibe, same color scheme, and just same aura. So um, yeah, I'm excited to keep transforming everything and just see how it goes. I wanted to do a rough setup so I can see what it looks like because girl, if I need to go back, I need to take it back now. So since we're here, I got some new canisters and a utensil holder from Crate and Barrel. About to open that up and see how it looks on the counter to know where I'm going to gauge everything in terms of like space wise or if something needs to go back. That's why I had ended up getting these utensils, which you guys didn't get to really see in the store, but they're black spatula and spoon sets. They have the stainless steel and the wood. I felt like this would be cute though, to really break up some of the black and wood, but still be in the black and wood. Let me see how it looks. <clears throat> out of the package You ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't 
hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you be, 'cause I gotta know. Y'all, look at our fans. Yes, sir. We official. Oh yeah, we got two gates. I forgot. Yeah. That why the neighbors mad at us now. Yeah. It looks so good. Don't mind that tree, y'all. We about to get our yard work down because this is kind of sickening. Somebody's about to enjoy this. They said that. We should let it sit for 30 days, so a month with no staining, no painting. That way the wood can have time to set, and if we painted it too early, the wood would absorb the paint or the staining, and it would end up rotting. That was his tip for us. Which, I mean, it does make sense. This pie. Deuce. Uh-oh, baby, yo, rib showing. Oh, Lord, my baby look hungry and moo. Bring the ball back, Deuce. Good boy. Deuce, get the ball, child. You so distracted. He like, I never get to play fetch outside. I'm a real boy. <laughs> I need something else to do. Deuce! Honey? Alright. He like, my ball getting dirty the fuck? Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Yeah, boy, you gonna be a tired motherfucker now. Yeah, I like this already. While I bust it, bust it, bust it for you, baby. Oh, baby. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so y'all saw the setup on the countertop. I wanted to do once again a mock setup. Make sure I liked it. I am actually about to wash let everything dry set it out so we can set it up for real put all the old stuff up for either the salvation army goodwill or anyone who wouldn't like it some of it is kind of raggedy though like i done broke the top off the sugar because i'm rough um the utensil thing has like some scuffs and skirt i don't really know how it even got like that but you know for anybody that's interested yeah, I'm about to take you guys through that process. It's hot outside. And then um, we will continue on the rest of our day. I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do today. Sim is about to go get a haircut. So y'all know he's going to be running errands. All right. <clears throat> Me and my record for both. Okay.
All right, so your girl has done a few things since y'all last saw me, like finishing up the kitchen by like wiping everything down, just resetting because we did have company over on Sunday and we didn't really do a great job yesterday. I changed out of my clothes, but for some odd reason, I still haven't made it to put on earrings, but hell girl, the day over now, I ain't seeing nobody but y'all, right? Any home. I want to go ahead and tackle these. I'm not sure if you guys have seen them, but they're not supposed to be white. I bought them with the intentions of spray painting them, and that's what we're going to do because I want them to be black to really match the vibe on top of here. It's not terrible because, I mean, we got white in the pictures, but no, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And this was one of my last runs to Home Goods, like maybe two or three vlogs ago. I've just been sitting them here because I wanted to see if I liked them, if I was going to dig the setup if I was gonna find something else and I haven't. That's in black already. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint these. Now, since we're in the vibes of showing little home updates here and there and getting stuff done, dudes, you ready to eat? Girl, he is following me around like he lost his best friend. <laughs> So you guys, I'm not sure that anybody can tell based off of how it looks on camera. This one has more of a, I don't know, stone type of texture to it <laughs> compared to this one that is more ceramic. So I feel like that's probably going to be one, two coats and good. But this one over here is going to take me a little bit of a second. We're probably going to have to let this sit and dry for a few days and then spray paint it again let it sit and dry because of the material but about to let deuce go inside because he be too inquisitive for me and we're gonna spray paint inside baby inside arts and crafty okay but my goal is to not have stuff sitting around here not being done because I'm trying to hold it for a video instead I'm just going to start knocking it out bit by bit so the overall video when I take you guys through show y'all how I did things I can still include some of the setup footage or BTS but the overall is gonna hit okay because the strategy is to get it done and I can't get it done by trying to savor it. And then by the time I'm finally ready to share with y'all, my entire vision has changed because that happens a lot with me. Anyway, I'm not sure if y'all saw the tags on me, but girl, what? All right, let me feed my child. I don't think anything else exciting is going to happen tonight. We are going to tackle those curtains another day because... The step stool ladder that we have is not tall enough, okay? It only has two levels and <sighs> them curtains high. I ain't in the mood to be standing on top of furniture tonight and risking it all. So I'm going to get a ladder from Home Depot or Lowe's that's actually going to work. And we can, of course, keep it for later down the line. I do need to run there to get some longer screws for the knobs that we changed out in the bathroom anyway. So yeah, that'll come a little bit later on this week or during the weekend. I huh, said all that to say, I'll see you guys later if anything, but if not, I'll see y'all in the AM. Put my sweatshirt back on, relay my edges because we're taking a healthy trip to Target. Hey, bye. 
He is so sick of me. I, ask me what I need out of here. Just ask. Oh, they got the music turned down today. How you feel? Oh, show the folks you back to being ragged up, shawty. Yeah, man, it's that time of year, man. <laughs> you look good. All right, so I do have an objective. I saw these on somebody's Instagram. Is that what I'm smelling? Grapefruit basil? No, that's not what I was looking for. Mmm. They're by the Hearth and Hand brand, but that's not um, what I'm coming in here to pick up. I'm gonna show you guys rather than tell you guys because I don't feel like being judged. Oh, be careful. Look at him. He's searching for stuff too. Sim has really been trying to get to Target for the past few weeks. And look at me, holding him accountable on what he wanted to do. Oh my goodness. This right here is really a good set. I love these candles. Oh, they got coconut and white woods. That's a new fragrance. Let me see what that smells like. Not bad. How do you feel coming to Target, my good sir? Starbucks still open? Hey man, look, man. you in Rome, do ass. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> Let's go over there and see if they still open before we make it to what side we're gonna make it to. Y'all, we had some burrito tacos. Listen, my hands and I just, that gum that I have on my mouth is fighting a real battle right now. <laughs> Cause why was I out there smelling like a fresh peeled onion? Get me together, get me together. That I did not feel. I was actually on the phone with Miss Burgess for a while, so I didn't feel like picking up the camera. Y'all, Starbucks is closed. I'm sad. I was gonna get a matcha because y'all know I had coffee earlier. Oh, this is sick. Well, this was a complete bust. I literally only picked up eye patches, which I said I needed earlier, and yeah. It's only because I'm with Sam. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey you guys, happy Wednesday. So your girl was super productive earlier, but then things took a drastic turn. Listen, let me explain. So number one, I woke up for the gym, got there, had a great workout. Number two, came home, made me some breakfast. I had boiled eggs, and then I also made a smoothie. Went upstairs, boom. Felt like I needed to go ahead and wash my hair because the style was getting old as you see hence we're back again but i just needed to refresh my girl because she was dry that gel the mousse everything was just kind of ugh, having her a little tight and then not to mention i was sweating so she was just thinking i washed detangled deep conditioned blow dried and set my hair right back up right Number three, I started re-watching reruns of Being Mary Jane as I was getting things done. And suddenly I said, let me lay down real quick. Take five because I'm trying not to take a real nap. And girl, that was at 140. It's 435. <clears throat> That's embarrassing as hell. Like, why as adults we can't take naps and it just work? Girl, I was supposed to only be down for like 20, 30 minutes. That's all. That's all. Literally. And then my iPad died on one of the episodes, so it got quiet in there. I snuggled up in the cover. It got warm in there. And that was all she wrote. So now I'm back up and I need to continue on with my productivity while we still have some sunlight. So today... Not gonna do a whole lot because I do need to record a voiceover for the video that I would like to post tomorrow. And if I don't post it tomorrow, I'll post it Friday early off in the day. Hopefully it gives you guys motivation moving into your weekend to reset. And yeah, we're just going to call a spade a spade. I ain't even gonna work myself up. I'm just going to post the content, right? So I want to get that done. And then I do need to run to Home Goods because Girl, that Estee Lauder serum that I thought I got were actually these little capsules. And who got time? 
Who got time? I didn't even see that on the label. Plus, they had that fat ass, y'all know, the cage around it so nobody can steal it. And, honey, I ain't paid no attention to that. When I opened it up last night, geeked to use it, I was like, what the hell is this? So, taking that right back and... What else? I do need to make that Walmart return. So today will be the day of returns if I get out the house at a decent hour before Sim gets on his way home because I do have some trout and also some chicken thawing out. That way I can cook and get some meals prepped up, one for tonight and then two for him to take to work for the rest of the week. <sighs> so... Let me go ahead and get myself moving. And once I'm done, I'll be back to you guys. First though, I'm gonna get a little coffee going. And y'all, Deuce is not a fan. Now that we have the fence, he can spend a lot more time unsupervised outside. And this man been sitting at the door like, uh-oh, you forgot something? <laughs> he has not moved in the last two minutes. <laughs> I'm screaming like <laughs> You ain't like that, huh? You ain't like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do you like that. I forgot to tell y'all that night that I opened up these wipes. Why does things say the best bath is no bath? I Who made that up? <laughs> oh. I know it's for dogs, but girl. Come this. Don't mind this box that's over here. It's actually going to the Goodwill. Y'all, these little sweet potato chews, they about to work wonders because they keep him busy for a while. They're kind of like tough, but not too bad. And he's off. Well, really quick because TikTok, did y'all know that they were putting vegetable oil inside of our coffee creamer? I'm gonna have to start like, huh? And coffee creamer is banned in some countries because of that. US, if y'all don't care about us, just say that. We've seen in so many ways that you don't, but damn. On the coffee mate it's a little higher up in the ingredient list out you guys know it goes in order of the quantity of that ingredient inside of the product so this one has non-fat milk sugar heavy cream buttermilk and then vegetable oil I need help understand it as I pour some I need help because we're not gonna waste no money right but I need help understanding. <laughs> Why vegetable oil? Out of all things that you could have put inside of coffee creamer, oil? Why come? Why come? I always check my straws to make sure that they don't have any broken glass areas. But yeah, that's kind of wild. I don't even need the whipped cream. I'm gonna go just like that. Truthfully, I hate voiceovers. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Not to actually sit down, watch, and listen to, but for me to record them for my videos. Hate them. So I did share with you guys before that for my sponsored content, I actually go through, write a script from the brief, making sure that I'm hitting all the points that they want me to hit and I make it natural so it doesn't sound like I'm reading off of something. But for the video I'm about to film, I want it to be like authentic because while you guys are going to watch me clean, reset, and do all the things. I'm going to be doing like a story time and just reflecting on a moment where or a lesson that I learned type thing. So I want these to be new to my channel. So I just really got to get myself in the mindset that you're going to do it. Okay. And it's going to be done great so suck it up and get over it that's why i've been procrastinating that's how that nap came into play today i'm not even gonna lie to y'all like i was just like Ugh, i'll do it in 10 minutes so let me lay down catch my breath you know take a chill pill and it'll get done yeah 
and that's how we got where we got. So let me show y'all the um, vases because they look good. Okay, I know the lighting isn't that great, but the quality, they're still wet, so I can't really move them. I think yesterday I did just enough to give it a good first coat. And honestly, I can probably open up the garage so I can get some natural light to really see what areas need a little bit more paint, little touch up, second coat, and yeah, they'll be good to go. They look great. All right, you guys, your girl is done. It's seven now, but I wrapped up that around 6.15, 6.20. Sim came home and he's off to the gym right now. I was actually on the phone with my mom, cleaning up, making sure that my meat was thawed out so I can go ahead and cook. But I still do want to run to Home Goods to make this return because if anything, tomorrow after the gym, once I get home, I want to sit down and tackle the rest of that editing by adding in the voiceover making sure that it flows good adding all my music and getting it saved if i don't get anywhere tonight which i'm starting to think i may not because your girl been trying to get in her bed on time okay because i cannot stay up past 10 30 11 o'clock expecting to get up at seven to go to a gym girl who how's it gonna work i'd be tired hence how i ended up taking a nap today which threw my entire schedule off. Anyway, y'all, my little bang pieces are not cooperating today. I'm not sure if it's because I freshly blow dried and did my hair earlier, so they gotta get acclimated, or if I put too much heat protectant and they just like, girl, uh, we don't know how we feel. Not really sure. Not really feeling the uh, today, but anyway, we move. So I'm about to throw on a cardigan i'm pretty sure it's not that bad outside i'll probably put on a jacket because my legs don't really get as cold as the rest of my body if it is chilly and i'll meet you guys in the car because we are going to make this return point blank period hopefully no nah, i ain't gonna even push it and say i'm going to walmart too that can happen this weekend because it's not that deep but yeah let me go hi how are you good i have a return Thank you, you have a good one. So you guys, I'm back home. The return took forever. I was sitting in line for like 15 minutes and that's a long time. There was like three people in front of me, two people at the registers and then ciao, just the most. So anyway, I didn't get to walk around and browse like I planned to do, which was probably God telling me, get back home anyway, you got shit to do. Y'all remember I got that stuff in the car that's going back to Walmart, right? Girl, I caught myself just trying to open these up. I picked them up because they were pink and I was like, oh, okay, little protein chips. Wonder what that's like. Girl, I just read it as I opened it up to chew on one. This has chicken breast, egg whites, and chicken bone broth crafted from real ingredients. They're disgusting. Oh my God, I've never tasted nothing so nasty in my life. Oh Jesus. I'm pretty sure Juice will love them though. I'm gonna get Sam to taste one too. Come on. You like that, huh? That tastes good to you, huh? Y'all, this shit's so nasty. It almost tastes like... Let me see. You're eating really dry chicken, but it gives you like that papery type thing. I don't even know. I hope nobody likes these because what? Girl, like I would have never picked these up had I not been going to that color party and my color was pink. Never would have picked these up, but just the simple fact that somebody out there in the world really be buying these, girl, you better than me. You're a bigger person, sis. You really like them, huh? They're good for you, I guess. Oh no, the sodium, baby. 270 milligrams per serving, which is 20 chips. Jesus, they ain't healthy no way. Hmm. Ooh, that boy clean. Hmm. You look good. Look up though. Look down. I'm looking down. Why did you get it up, up in my nose? No, I'm saying like let the folks see. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's a different haircut, y'all. Mm-hmm. Anyway, try one of these. 
I said Himalaya pink or was I tripping? Uh, that was it. It says Himalaya pink sauce. So remember I was going to the color party. <laughs> and um <clears throat> the pink sauce. Did I eat it? I said the pink sauce. It's in the car. I'm taking that shit back to Walmart though. I was supposed to be taking this back, but on the way back, mm -hmm. I got a little snackish. So I was like, oh, let me try these out. These just some protein chips. Mistake number one. Mistake number two is chips crafted from real ingredients. Okay, cool, because, you know, potato chips are really potatoes. So then, stop trying to read. Then we further go into it, but I'm not going to tell you too much. Let me just let you try it. Bye. I gave him some already because they're just <laughs> that nasty. It's a, it's a protein chip. Go and eat it. Just eat it. No. <laughs> you know what it actually tastes like? What? How turkey bacon used to actually taste. The before we got our yes, good one. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. Yes. That's the nastiest turkey bacon on the planet Earth. That if you want to try what it tastes like. turkey bacon, that's not the one to go to. You need to get an uncured turkey bacon. Okay, so it's made from very interesting review. <laughs> you need something to drink? Yeah, man, I gotta work this out. This is disgusting. <laughs> because I actually read this, I knew what to say it tasted like because I was like, it tastes like dry chicken that just kind of lingers in your mouth disgusting 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 <laughs> i'm sorry to yeah, anybody who may uh, like this yeah this this is a treat for deuce bed man oh bed so yeah you guys i put my bangs up because for whatever reason they just were not doing right. They were getting super fluffy, and I'm not sure if it's because this is day one washed hair, but it didn't do this on our way down to the cabin. So I'm not really sure, but I put them up because I was tired of dealing with them. Sim and I are about to go to get some Chick-fil-A. The lighting be having my, um, it just looking like they disappear. Like they transparent or something, but they here. Mm-hmm. Damn, it's the angle. Anyway, y'all, uh, I was telling Sim how hard it is to prioritize and have good time management when you work from home. The discipline be so real. And I'm really hard on myself whenever I slack off because I know better. So taking a nap today really just was like, Shanice, what the hell did you do that for? And I allowed myself to sleep that long. I feel great and rejuvenated, but I didn't get shit done that I was supposed to. And we got goals. But tomorrow's another day, so hell, like it. How was the gym, tell the folks? It was cool, man. Some of y'all folks need to remember, just cause you finna go work out and get stank don't mean you gotta go in there stank. Wash your ass. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, I didn't know you was gonna say that. Simeon. No more rough housing. Hey, you guys, happy Thursday. Good morning. Okay, your girl is back from the gym. I'm all showered. I got my hair wrapped up because I just got done doing it. I have to edit today. If you guys know or you could imagine, I did not get nothing done last night. When Sim and I got back, we sat up and we was watching a movie. It's on Netflix, I believe. Ashley told us to watch it. I cannot remember what the name of it is. I'm drawing a blank, but Sim ended up falling asleep. I stayed up for a little longer afterwards and then I just called it a night. So I need to get my video edited and out the way first or at least get to a good stopping point so I can get up and clean and marinate that meat that I took out and I also need to make a run to the store. I gotta grab Deuce some food. He's gonna need some by the time he's ready to eat again tonight. I made me a smoothie earlier so I'm good for right now. Around like 12, one o'clock, I'll probably take a break so I can make something to eat and that's when I'll season and marinate everything then. So yeah, you guys just wanted to pop on. Let y'all know what I had going on and 
once I get to that point in which I stop, I'll pick you guys back up for sure. This is the brand I be getting, y'all. Hey, you guys, happy Monday. I know, I have a lot of explaining to do as to why I was not on camera for the past five days. That is ridiculous. I think the last that you guys saw me was, what, Wednesday night or Thursday? And I had such an eventful weekend. It's kind of ridiculous. I shouldn't even boast and brag about that in y'all's face because I did not take y'all along for anything. I tried, but it was unsuccessful. And here we are. Here we are. I got a lot to say. So y'all grab y'all some wine and listen up because this is going to be a long clip. Number one, my hair was not cooperating. So I really had bad hair attitude. I did. I did. Just going to the gym as often as I am and then coming home to shower and then recover my hair just to hop on camera. Girl, sometimes I just don't be feeling like it. And honestly, that leads me to not picking up the camera at all, which is not good because I really be doing stuff, but because I'm not presentable, yeah. Like my hair just getting frizzy. I don't want to put heat on it every day for this specific style. And y'all know I'm not doing no braid out or twist out right now. I just do not have the mental capacity and or time on a daily basis to deal with this. Sorry, not sorry. It's just not in my everyday plans to do. I can't, I can't. Like this style is cute. I really enjoy it. It's easy, but it's just been giving me a run the past few days. And I'm over it i'm over it i am so ready to get my wig back which i'm doing tonight or get me some type of protective style once i'm done with that because yeah no she's getting in the way of business she the reason y'all ain't seen me but outside of that number two that clean with me reset with me whatever the hell i'm gonna name it because you guys have already seen it by now drug me through the mud like y'all i sat for three days brainstorming as to how i was going to go with that video did i want it to be inspirational motivational did i want it to be informative put y'all on to different products and why i do different things or did i just kind of want to let it flow and be like a routine reset and you guys will just see more and different types from here on out just gonna get it together. I was trying to even contemplate putting like a story time over it so you guys would more so pay attention to what I'm saying and not just the fact that I'm doing the same thing that everybody else does while they're resetting and preparing for a new week. But then that wasn't flowing. I recorded like maybe four times and let's just say none of those made the cut. It was, wow rough at the end of last week getting work done because my mental just wasn't mm -mm. my creative juices just came to a complete stop and your girl was in creator's block until just a few hours ago when i recorded the new voiceover that's the final for the video so go figure <sighs> I don't even know why it, mm -mm. I think truthfully though, I just wanted to throw all of that footage to the trash because it's so old now and it's a video that I should have had up before we even left for Valentine's Day. I didn't get around to it and now I'm battling with, I spent so much time recording it and editing it down from like four and a half hours to 25 minutes. How dare I waste my time like that and just trash it. So yeah, the battle me against me last week was something ridiculous, but it happens and I'm just trying to learn to give myself some grace, right? So number three, why I broke my camera? Hmm? Why did I break that camera, y'all? I'm pretty sure I included the clips where I was saying that I was going to edit, get my voiceover done, and then the next time y'all saw me was gonna be to pick up Deuce's food and then I was gonna come home and cook. Yeah, as I'm cooking, y'all, I swear, I had cleaned everything, getting ready to season it, moved the tripod over to the next counter, turned my back for two seconds to close the blinds, and all I heard was the camera fall directly on the lens that was yeah so the lens jammed and 
<sighs> here we are i'm back on this camera which i automatically thought to go upstairs grab so i could set up and just continue on with filming that day but since i don't use this as often all the batteries were dead so i had to sit here and wait for batteries to charge up and then that would have been a waste of time if i didn't just cook in the meantime because i was already heated about that camera dropping so i said whatever it is what it is and then it is what it is trickled into the weekend where number four tell me why i went out with the girls on saturday had us a great time tried a new spot then i left from them and linked with sim we went out for date night then we got up yesterday and had a day date and yeah i didn't film nothing what's going on what's going on i will say though in my defense i took the camera I happened to turn the camera on and I realized I did not swap the battery out. So here we were with a dead camera out in the streets when nothing I could do, literally nothing I could do. And then by the time I got home, Sim was ready for date night. I only had time to put on a jacket and head on out the door because we went to go see Creed 3. And yeah, so if you follow me on TikTok, you got a little content there, you know what I'm saying? But it's just kind of wild. Like, why did y'all like that? Why did I do y'all like that? I did not mean to. I've just been disoriented. I finally got up today and got my life all the way together. Let me catch you guys up on this morning. Yeah, we got to. repair process is to ship it out is that okay yes that's fine do you see any instances where the lens are jammed and they're able to repair it or do you feel like that's gonna have to be replaced Bro. <laughs> don't look at it like this <laughs> never know because i mean the body's fine it's a brand new camera but it's just the lens when it fell it fell on the lens how you doing, ma'am? Good, how Thank are you? Thank you so much for your patience. I no saw problem. you standing there. I'm glad Jerry was able to get to you. I appreciate you. No Thank problem. you. If I can have it sent to you after repairs, I'll come pick it back up here. Um, I can pick it back up. <laughs> Scope of work here, and if you're ready, yeah. you sign. Thank you. Estimated completion is March 18th. Okay. Oh, that's quick. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Okay, I'm not bad. I'm not upset with that. Thank you so much. You have a good one. What was your name? Jerry. Jerry? Jerry. Okay, thank you so much. Bye, you have a good one. So once I got home from running all of my errands, I sat down, got the final voice over done. Okay. And I'm going to be editing that tonight. I'm probably going to upload that video later on this week because I don't feel like resets belong at the top of the week. They're more so for like Thursday uploads maybe a saturday morning but for sure sunday so i'm not really sure when i'm gonna put that in rotation but you guys should see that before this video because it's just ridiculous at this point like girl that footage so old it's making me cringe so with that being said i did my makeup i did my hair because i said i'm going to show up on camera today for real not playing no more games and i've already set myself up to pick up my wig later on i'm waiting on her to text me whenever she gets back i need to go to ups now to return an amazon package i need to check my p.o box but ooh, it's 5 20. i'm not sure that i'm gonna enjoy the traffic to get there hmm and then after that, I need to make a return to home goods, which I need Sim to take these curtains down because they are not working out, you guys. They are too short. They're the most awkward length that you can make curtains. 95 inches It's usually 96, then to 108. Like, it skips. 
I don't know how we got to these being 95 and they are not even grazing the floor, girl, uh -uh, but they're perfect. I love the color. I love how sheer they are and I love the flexibility of being able to move them on the rod because of the openings but yeah they just not gonna work sitting up high water and flooding like that and then also i need to show you guys the vases over here but one thing at a time shanice girl so here they are i can't move too much because you guys won't be able to catch the color see that they flow so well into the living room but girl look at these damn no ma'am absolutely not absolutely not like y'all see that it would be perfect if i could just get them to slightly graze that ground but from afar that just don't look good with them floating up like that above the baseboard okay mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. if i can find those in the correct length i'm gonna be a happy camper because it would really be od to move down the curtain rod just to fit these curtains it's not that deep who knows if i'm gonna want to change them again in the future and yeah they might actually be 96 inches and now i have to move the rod again so just gonna take those back luckily when sim set them up he did not throw out the covering that actually has the price tag on them. Now onto these beauties. They are a success. Don't they look good, y'all? Like that matte black spray paint. She's her. She is her. It only took two coats. Honestly, the one coat was pretty good, but I did turn them over so I can spray the bottoms. And while I did that, I just gave them a second coat to make sure that I got them covered completely in black. Even though this one had a different finish to it, it took that color just as well as the smaller one. And if you ask me, they look really, really, really good. Of course, now I'm probably going to go to Hobby Lobby to find some fillers for this one. I'll leave this one empty as it is, but yeah, yeah. That looks much better than how they looked in white. And I'm glad I thought to just grab them and spray paint them over leaving this until I found the perfect black base. But yeah, those look good. Phew, that was a mouthful, huh? I know, I know. But your girl's about to get herself together so we can get out of the house. And once I make it into the car, I'll pick you guys up then. If you want it, you can get it for the rest of your life. I cannot believe we are here in the spring and honestly i'm actually kind of excited for the springtime that's not like me <laughs> usually i'm dreading it because of the fact that i have really bad seasonal allergies but let me tell you something i've been popping an antihistamine every day because i cannot afford to be down bad this year we'll work on more holistic remedies next year but yeah, I cannot afford to miss out on recording and posting. So I also need to make my way to Walmart to return this pink basket back here. Cause now I'm feeling bad. Like I had this stuff sitting in my car. I don't have no business returning it, but I do because I'm not gonna use none of it. Literally none of it. All that stuff that's in there is just stuff that I don't use. Made it to UPS, y'all. I was supposed to bend return this uh phone case i really hope that they accept it because they said the last day i could return through was march 4th girl today is six let me go in here hey how are you i have an amazon return is it all for you yes it is thank you so much you have a good one Y'all, folks be so funny when they see me with my camera. Mr. Man's in there. He was like, oh, I thought you were trying to take my picture. No, baby. I was just vlogging. Like, you ain't hip to YouTube yet. You ain't hip. But anyway, I'm glad I was able to get that done. I don't know if Amazon is going to call my bluff or not. But we'll see. He scanned it. And I got a receipt for it. We'll go on from there. Real quick, you guys. I got a few rants to have with y'all because a lot has been going down in the past few days. 
not really sure when I'm gonna do the other one but one is coming right now so follow along for my TED talk my business owners out there whether you have a small business just now starting or yours is kind of thriving or you're full out flourishing and you are seeking brand ambassadors and or influencers to help widen or diversify your audience promote a specific product and or service help you generate any type of revenue and the list goes on for whatever reason you are outsourcing make sure you are about your business okay especially if you are not paying someone and contracting this person to do it because when you come with a contract there's no hidden agenda there's no miscommunication everything is there in paper what their roles and responsibilities are what the turnaround is what you will be compensating them with and the list goes on so it's very clear but if you are just out here bartering and just like I scratch your back you scratch my back I give you product I give you service you promote me then you have to know to be about that business and when I say that know that I'm coming from a business minded place I would like to believe that I am extremely successful with my small black owned business I have great customer service and if I do have a hiccup I fix it. I compensate for it. I return money. I give extra product. I empathize with my customers because I am a consumer of things as well. So I said all of that to say. <laughs> I've been getting reached out to lately from a lot of small business owners who want promo you see my following you see my engagement or you just may be somebody from back in the day who sees that this is really like a lifestyle and you want to you know have me fool with you a little bit that's fine that is fine but i do need people to understand that as a creator i have built up this platform with authenticity and credibility from everything that I do and everything that I get from my supporters. I wholeheartedly do not accept anything that I do not use or I just know is a lie. So for instance, I was working with Native. I used their deodorant, toothpaste, and body wash before in the past. They reached back out for me to redo the deodorant and body wash, I think. And I told my manager I couldn't do it. Either I'm going to do their body wash because I really enjoyed that and not the deodorant or I can't do the collaboration at all because I can't sit here and lie to my audience because if I promote anything or if I tell them that I'm using anything, it needs to be 100% guaranteed the truth because if it's not, I'm not going to sit up on this platform and lie to y'all. Like I'm just not, I'm not doing that on any platform. So when these businesses are reaching out and they have piss poor service, customer service that is you want me to promote you and I cannot get any communication from you you provide a service for me and the service is not your best service but you want me to promote this service for other people to come in here and get a lackluster experience absolutely not I cannot do it like I just can't bring myself to do it it's not in my blood it's not in my genetical makeup I will pass money up before I get up on here and lie to y'all so I'm damn sure not gonna lie to y'all for free I'm not I'm not I'm not and I really hate to have to out people and tell people like yeah no let's go ahead and dead this but I'm getting to the point where I'm doing it because I'm tired of dealing with people who aren't 100 about their business and you just can't even do things like provide simple communication there's no reason for this just none at all now I will say a successful business that I have collaborated with like three or four times now in the past is that black owned boutique that I did the try on haul for and when I say she was up front we want to keep this a non-contractual obligation and we want to send you clothes you have the liberty to post or not post but we just appreciate you shotting us out on 
Instagram story, whatever. I whole ass did a try on haul featuring some of their clothes. I be tagging their stuff on Instagram and TikTok because they have great customer service, great quality clothes. I can depend on if I'm emailing them to have a response within three to five business days. And our relationship, the partnership that we have is just so positive and I really enjoy their things. I will pay for them. Like I was going to initially pay for my first order and they sent me stuff just for free so I can promote and whatever the case may be and it's just like y'all are so sweet I appreciate that and we've just been going back and forth and it's clear communication but for instance give me a second I'm gonna come back to that because give me a second let me figure it out I'm finding it I'm finding it but when I come back I'm gonna come back either it's gonna be good or bad I'm not really sure yet but I'm gonna come back anyway in a nutshell, to wrap up this TED Talk, thank you guys so much for coming and listening in. I am going to have my closing statements and say, if you're a business owner, be about your business. Because it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here, and you don't want to put yourself on a limb to be doing things for people for free or providing them free product and then end up kicking yourself in the ass because you didn't step up and provide good business, and now they're not going to promote yourself. Don't do it to yourself don't do it to yourself if that makes sense let it marinate if it don't apply let it fly all right very good okay one more thing before i move on for real for real but i just uh if i could tell y'all what i really want to tell y'all without it coming off as petty or facetious i would but it's just not even that deep I mean, I'm going to stand on what I say, but I don't have time. I don't know who watches me and how things come off on camera. So I'm going to just leave it at what it is. But anyway, what I really came on here again to say is my best friend has a business. Honeybee Hair Collection, house-of-honey.com. And I support her wholeheartedly. I have always promoted her products and everything here on my channel. And if I knew that my friend did not have good customer service nor no business by herself, I would not. I would not absolutely not point blank period I would not I know a lot of people who have things going on businesses that you know they provide services and stuff like that but if I see you and you not doing what you need to do I'm not going to go and promote you to nobody else to be shamed and embarrassed when they come back to me and be like yeah hell no mm -mm. anybody that I fool with that I have promoted here on my channel know that it's a one it's a hundred and I'm not lying like because I just can't I just don't know how people be getting on these apps and lying like y'all lying y'all lying y'all lying when it comes to makeup queen y'all already see the proof in the pudding a few of y'all have gone to her and you've had great experiences point blank period you know what I'm saying like I just that lying shit, that capping shit that everybody be getting up on this app and doing, I just, I don't really understand it. I'm finna get off my soapbox though, cause I done went way too long with this. Let me put y'all down so I can put my seatbelt on and get to this goddamn post office. For real, it's kind of just getting bad out here. It really is because you never know who's lying and who's not. I have so many people tell me like, um, girl, I see you promoting something, but do you really like it? Do you really use it? And I'm like, yes, I do. Like, I would not lie. I would not lie. Everything won't be my cup of tea. I understand that. So I'm not going to say that I'd be trying things for the first time and then, you know, having to make a decision and create some type of review about it. And I may not use it again. But while I was using it, it's good. Like everything that I say is going to be 100 but with the job itself if you don't like something and a brand is contract to you you can tell them that this isn't gonna work it's not aligning and they can drop the contract you just won't ever work with them again and you know your reputation might get a little bruised up but it's okay it's okay because stand on what you mean because I've done it so many times before I done passed up hello fresh because of something going on with the rep that we were working with and I hope one day to be able to work with them again and have better communication with whoever is outsourcing for the campaign but I'm not about 
just doing anything because you know what I'm saying like no 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 that food was good as hell though so I really do hope I get an opportunity to go back and <laughs> work with them because it was real convenient and I ain't gonna lie people ain't just using it for no reason I'm not gonna hold you but I just had a bad experience with the person that reached out to us through a third party and me and my manager couldn't get them to change the terms and agreement but outside of that it's just like <sighs> anyway I'm done I'm done ranting. The sun finna go down, Shanice. Let it go. <laughs> we about to go check this P.O. box, though, because speaking of that boutique, I believe my girls done sent me something, and I was supposed to email them back, and I forgot, but I got an order number from them with some tracking, so I know that's not just from nothing or anything old. So I need to go check my emails to make sure. I done made it to the post office only to realize that I do not have my key for my P.O. box. I'm going home. Because I'm sick of myself. Like, I usually keep it in the car. And I know I probably took it out with the mailbox keys and all the other keys that I had in here. Because they just don't need to go on my car keys like that's just uh uh I had an issue with my keys being too heavy for the ignition anyway so yeah I'm pretty sure I took it out that last go round and I never put it back in the car I'm sick of me I am sick of me but I searched through my email and it says your order is confirmed and it has an order number but it doesn't have any tracking information with it so I need to hit them up. I need to email them and just see if they might have created an order for me, but it just never shipped or if they shipped it, do I have a tracking number that I need to provide? Or, you know, I could just come here with my P.O. box key. What up though? That man that got in here and cooked good. So I'm home, you guys, no surprise. I've been sitting on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Editing, I keep that laptop on me. We are about to find something on Netflix to watch as we eat. Sim took care of cooking for tonight. Okay, shout out to him. And yeah, after that, I think we're probably gonna migrate upstairs because we have way more to watch upstairs because Sim is actually able to get on his little bootleg website. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, if I don't show you guys anything else tonight, I'll see you guys in the AM. Hey you guys, happy Tuesday. So your girl is about to head out of the house. A very productive morning. I went to the gym, came home, and I got some editing done. Now I need to make all of these returns because I want my coins back. I need to run to Walmart, Home Goods, and I do need to stop by Target as well. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to grab this key for the P.O. box so I can go check that today successfully. And I also need to check our mailbox because I have something that actually needs to go into the refrigerator. Bye, boom. Thank you, honey, you're the greatest. Love you. I should really start bringing you guys along for the gym. If not, I need to film as soon as I get home because I actually be doing stuff like this morning I made, girl, this egg white omelet, okay, with a little fajita veggie and some turkey bacon on the side, of course. Girl, that was something that y'all needed to see because when I say delish, sis was good, okay? She was really good, but outside of that, I didn't really do much. So there really wasn't any need for me to pick my camera up. I did go grab my wig after I left the gym. She was ready for me to pick it up. She did a great job from what it looks like with reconstructing the cap, but I need to twist my hair down so I can actually put it on to make sure it fits. Bro, the pollen count this year has to be at an all-time high already like these cars are coated in pollen anyway though just pulled up to walmart about to go ahead in and stand in this ridiculous customer service line because i already know it's out the wazoo for whatever reason i already know shameful 
I'm surprised they got the music turned down today, but since I'm in the neighborhood, I might as well pick up some of the stuff that I was gonna go to Target and grab. It's probably cheaper, one. And then two, I'm already here. But I do wanna pick up some Good and Gather Honey, which is the Target brand, so I'm gonna have to get it from there anyway. Y'all, this packaging is so cute. I've actually never seen this brand before, so I wonder if they're any good. That smells good. Mm. They change this packaging every time I see it. Oh. And no, it is something hot about this dough. Jesus have mercy. <sighs> I know you guys can barely see me, but now I'm about to head to Dunkin' to get me a matcha or Starbucks. Not really sure, whoever I see first will be the winner. And then I'm gonna head to Home Goods. Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have some curtains, they were too short. Okay, I hear you. I Gotta hate that. The right size, I know. <sighs> and I, I see when you get your husband. Up, <laughs> they need to be ready. They need to be ready. You right. There you go. You are so right. I understand. I barely got him up there to put the things up. <laughs> you have a good one. You too. Appreciate it. You know what? Let me tell you something. I have really bad seasonal allergies, oh. so. Yeah, it's beautiful, oh, it's but, beautiful, but the, it's hitting you out. It yeah. doesn't help with the pollen. Yeah, so like on the cars and things. Yes, it's. I, yeah. Thank God we have a garage, but I mean, I've been yeah. taking medicine this year. Usually, okay. I try not to, but well, you look good. thank you, you look thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, you too. All right, you guys. I am just going to browse, okay? Just gonna browse and see if I can find some curtains that are the right length. If not, mm, I don't really need much else. As Soon as I walk over here, do y'all see these? These are like the little viral glasses. Let me pick them up. They have a four count for $12.99. That's not bad. These are cute. I actually just bought one of these off of Amazon and I hope it's not this little. I needed something to replace the one that we have up there that was silicone because it's gonna do better with water but I hope it's not that small for real. Okay, hear me out. I think I'm gonna replace what I have because I like the fact that this entire thing pumps. Seeing stuff like this just makes me feel like I'm aligned with the universe, you know what I'm saying? Because God has put this here for me. Seriously. I'm really digging the foam pump though because I can pour my Bath and Body Works soap into this. Okay? And make it do what it do. Because right now we have this one which I'm not crazy about at all. Not even sure what I was thinking about when I picked it up. It's okay. It's okay. They have this one too. It's a foaming dispenser. I like the way it looks. These were almost perfect until girl what's that what's is this a shower curtain or some curtains for a living room because huh they have so many with this situation on it like it just looks cheap to me i don't i don't really know this is a different style but uh-uh those white anyway i shouldn't be looking at them no way see 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 that's what i be talking about this what I be talking about. Every time I get up on here to give y'all some content, this is what I be talking about. <sighs> Who? Listen, if you wanna decorate your home, this is the time to start getting things, especially for the outdoor areas that you have around your home, whether it's a porch or a back patio, because they have all the good stuff out. And y'all know, 
the weather just gonna keep getting nicer and people gonna keep being in the stores they also have a lot of just neutrals and stuff outside of all the saint patrick's day and easter stuff they have some really nice things out now it's like finally coming around to when they're updating their inventory from the holiday season don't say i ain't never put y'all on let me make my way to target because i need this honey I should have just did a pickup order. This foolish. It's really foolish. Every single time, it never fails. Never fails, but I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Okay, so this is the one I was talking about, but I low-key wanna try that one. So here is this for my smoothies and dupes. So you guys, I finally found the Skims dupes. In Target, it's this brand. And they have like this color, they have that blue, they have that purple over there. But I found them online because they actually have like the shorts and the bralettes. They also have it in black too. Remember to grab your receipt. Thanks, see you again soon. Phew. Target run <sighs> and done. Your girl is about to go ahead and head to the house. I am officially done for today. About to go home. Sim did meal prep last night as you guys saw. So he separated everything out and put them into the containers. Probably gonna eat one of those a little bit later on and then we'll watch a movie and I'm going to Try to finish up that vlog and get it exported so I can upload it to YouTube tomorrow. And I think I'm probably going to go live on Thursday. That seems pretty decent for a reset, right? Yeah, I'm really liking the way that I edited it. So I hope you guys like it. If you did, please let me know down below because I'm just trying to diversify and try some new things. You feel me? Anyway, let me go home. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. We outside. Period. I know you ain't yawning, Ashley. Uh oh. She yawned? Yeah. Why we be putting Ashley in the back seat? She put herself back up. No, I had to get in the front today. I had to fix this leg. Oh, your makeup. We are about to go celebrate. Uh oh. Oh, do what? <laughs> We're about to go celebrate Rita's birthday. Celebrate. You celebrate. Sound like loyal. Celebrate. Okay. We outside, we have visions. We made it. Hey you guys, your girl just here popping on to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you already know the drill. Be sure to comment down below if you haven't already. Join the gang, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to tap the bell so you don't miss weekly uploads from your girl. I am all disheveled because ain't I supposed to tell y'all to like this video before I tell y'all to comment? Yeah. <laughs> anyway i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next one peace guys